I shared with you some time ago. Let me use this to wrap up uh, just this session of what I'm saying. There are three fears you must conquer in life to be great. Number one is the fear of the past. The fear of the past. Our past haunts us. You were an armed robber in the past. So what? So what? The Bible says, therefore, if a man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Religion can haunt your past. We were all kinds of things in the past. <laughs> all kinds. Some of you know what I'm talking about. You know what you were in the past. And every time God wants to lift you, the voice of your past holds you back. It is a fear you must conquer tonight. The second fear is the fear, listen to me, the fear that comes with ignorance. You never be confident until you are competent. Are you listening to me? Incompetence brings fear. You are always afraid when you do not know. And the, the, the antidote to that is not prayer and fasting. Knowledge. Get knowledge. Get understanding. The last one, which is the biggest one, is the fear of the opinion of others about you. Listen to me. No matter how nice you try to become, men will have their interpretations about you. The most important thing is what God is saying about you. Are you listening to me? You must have this. Otherwise, one day, somebody will look at your child and say, can you imagine? He's a man of God. How can a child be wearing red socks? And you go back and cry and say, I thought I liked red socks. All kinds of challenges. But you must learn. Say after me, I conquer the fear that comes with opinions about me. I know who I am. Saved by the Spirit. I know who I am. I know who God has made me. Do you know why many people are afraid of what people will say? Because you think it's their right comments that brought you the honor. And so you are afraid that if they, if they begin to talk negatively, the honor will go away. The Bible says no man take this honor to himself. It is God that can take a man from a don't heal and put him... Are you listening to me? This is why pride is very dangerous. Because when you fall, whatever brought you up is what... Whatever brought you up is what will sustain you. Are you listening to me? Pride is a dangerous thing. Because when you become boastful and arrogant, you will be under pressure. That's why many people surround themselves with psychophants who cannot tell them the truth. Because they have to maintain an atmosphere that makes them feel like the honor is still there. And the moment somebody begins to say, look, there is need for change, what happens? The honor begins to be threatened in them. And then they begin to respond. Are you listening to me? Very, very powerful. Honor comes from the Lord. Are you listening to me? It doesn't just come from what you... The Bible says, Hannah speaking, it is God that killeth. It is God that maketh alive. Have you not seen people who have fasted and prayed more than you and they have not stepped into one tenth of the honor upon your life? I have seen people that know the word of God more than me. I have seen people that are more diligent in the things of the spirit. But the position I occupy today is an election of grace. It's an election. Paul said, Paul, he said, I am the least of all the brethren. But it has pleased God. Are you listening to me? So realize that every time you see honor in your life, it came by grace. It will be sustained by grace. Are you listening to me? When you have this, you will have an open heart to receive criticism from others and not get angry. Many ministers are afraid whenever people begin to tell you maybe there is an area of your life adjust or this they get afraid because they want to surround themselves by only people who are psychophants and liars can i tell you something the moment you become prosperous or you begin to have results whether in life and ministry let me shock you the people who were there when you were nothing listen to them when you rise because they have nothing to gain are you listening to me those who do not know you when you were nothing they will only speak the things that you want to hear. Are you listening to me? Are you learning something this night? 